一番長い登板のメジャーに八回百長いといかがでしたか。もう今日は本当に、えー、まあ次もちょっとオールスターもあるので長いに投げようかなと思っていた分、まあ、できてよかったなと思います。With the All Star break coming up,、um, I knew I had a lot of days off, and I wanted to go deep into the game and be able to do that. What did you think watching、uh, your teammates with that ninth inning rally? You guys know. あの最高でした。ベンチの盛り上がりがすごかったですし、こういうふうに勝っていけるチームなんだなっていうのを改めてベンチで思いました。It was amazing being in that atmosphere and feeling the vibes.、Um, I know what we're capable of and to be able to do that is awesome. Were you in the clubhouse or the dugout when Alvarez is? What about his got home run for the good bench? I was at the bench in the dugout. Buck said that today reminded you of pitching in Japan because of the closed roof. Was that the case? Does it feel like a familiar atmosphere? 監督は今日室内だったってことについて日本にと少し似ているんじゃないかと申し上げていましたがいかがでしたか。そうですね。本当風の影響がなく投げれるので、まあそれは日本に近いなというふうに思いましたし、あの風があの冷たくない分、あのボールにしっかり馴染んだのはあるんじゃないかなと思います。I do think it was similar.、Um, no wind in the dome and、um, no coldness, so I was able to grip the ball well and throw well. Through the first half of this season, what are you individually most proud of about your season? Season 前半戦終わりを迎えそうなんですけども、千賀さん自身のパフォーマンスで一番達成できてますか？あ、本当に大きな怪我なく回っていることが一番かなと思います。まあそれをあの運用してくれてる方々にまず感謝したいと思いますし、まあここからまだ半分あるので、まあ気を抜かないように生活したいなと思います。I think the biggest thing is、um, staying healthy. I'm able to stay healthy, stay healthy, and that's thanks to all the staff、um, behind the scenes and the coaches that、um, are using me in the right way.、Um, and we have still have half the season left to go, so I、uh, need to maintain my health. Are you hoping to maybe go back out for the ninth? Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm hoping to go back out for the ninth. Well, I'm I had a pretty efficient eighth inning, so I felt like I could go in the ninth, and I partly wanted to. But、um, my teammates、uh, welcomed me into the dugout with high fives after the eighth, so I guess that was it. Get that ball up in the air and watch it go out like that. Qué emocionante es ese momento que tiene tu último trabajo después de la hora y tú ves que se va. Me va bastante emocionante, sabes. Me emocioné bastante en el juego, en el juego hice de todo. Imagínate, imagínate cuánto emocionante estaba. No, it was it was super exciting. It was super cool. I, you guys saw me running around the bases, and I did everything to to celebrate that win. What, what did that feel like going around the bases? You were obviously very fired up. Cómo se sintió cuando estaba corriendo la base que que se vio que estaba muy emocionado. Se sintió que como que sabes, Singa hizo un un trabajo demasiado bueno. y la defensa también y nos merecíamos ganar sabes nos merecíamos ganar como equipo y también por Singa que hizo un buen un trabajo espectacular no it felt good because Singa threw a tremendous game the defense played a tremendous game and and we I felt like we deserve we deserve to win and so so yeah it was it was really for them for them、uh, for Singa for the defense that that I felt like it was such a big moment it looked like it felt a little more than good Se parece que que era un poco más que 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 un buen sentimiento ahí. Claro, porque tuvo un poco más de sentimiento porque el don Pablo me cantó un picheo bien malo, ¿sabes? Él tiene todo el juego, no no da ese picheo, entonces、eh, cuando estaba bateando me cantó ese picheo que estaba en el piso y yo sentí como que, okay, vamos a seguir compitiendo, vamos a seguir para adelante y yo voy a tener que dar un palo y y Decirle que ese pichón que estaba que cantó no estaba está. No, yeah, no, it, it felt good because、uh, earlier in that count, the umpire called a strike that I that, that I didn't that I didn't necessarily agree with.、Um, we hadn't been getting that that call the entire game, so I had to keep battling. I had to keep competing there, and I, just with that home run, it was just kind of saying like like that last one wasn't a strike, but、um, but no, I, I got that one. This isn't the first time you've had a big home run late in the ninth inning like that. What about you? You know, allows you to kind of relax in that moment and, and come through in those spots. Que no es la primera vez que tú que tú das un run en el noveno inning para para tener un momento así. ¿Por qué tú te puedes quedar tan calmado y tan relajado en ese momento? Yo pienso que 
la clave para mi mente es como que, ajá, si, si fallo el turno, que es lo peor que puede pasar, ajá, vamos a perder el juego, pero, pero siento que yo voy a competir siempre, o sea, yo voy al 100% mío y si al final del día no tengo el resultado, es como que es un, tur es un mismo turno, lo único que me gusta de esos, de esos turnos es como que la adrenalina, como que me motiva más a concentrarme más, no sé. No, yeah, no, in that moment, it's like, uh, the way that I think about it is what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that we lose the game. So at the end of the day, what, what I try to do, I try to go out there, compete, and try to go battle, and and, and really try to give the, the, the best of myself. It's really the adrenaline that kind of heightens that moment for me. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So you like the adrenaline? Are very comfortable in those situations? So if you like the adrenaline, you feel comfortable in those situations? La parte favorita mía del juego, ¿sabes? La parte favorita mía del juego cuando... Cuando se siente la adrenalina, cuando se sienten que los dos equipos quieren ganar, que se sienten que, que se siente la presión, ¿sabes? Me siento, me encanta ese momento, ¿sabes? Y me encanta ese momento porque siento que no tengo miedo a fallar y siento que eso, eso es la clave de ese momento. No, yeah, it's my favorite part of the game. When that, when that adrenaline starts to, starts to build up, when that team wants to win the other game, when, when you have to focus on those, on those at bats. No, when, when that game's on the line, what's the worst that can happen? They, 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 I'm not afraid of failure. So, so yeah, when, when those moments come up, I'm, I'm comfortable. What did your teammates do to you when you got back to the dugout? What did your teammates do to you when you got back to the dugout? Nothing, everyone was happy, everyone was happy, and I felt that we were going to win. I felt that when I got to the dugout, I said, yeah, we're going to win. No, 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 they were just, everyone was just super excited. Once I got in there, we, we felt like we were going to win the game. Once I got in there, I said, I said we're going to win this game. What was your reaction when you saw Candace triple and Bain coming home? What was your reaction when you saw Candace triple and Bain coming home? Eh, empecé a pegar grito y salí del dogado a la mano a ir y le di, le di durísimo, quizá tengo un morado en, en el brazo. No, I was, I was super excited. I, I let out a, a big yell right there. I, I came out of the dugout. I hit baby super hard. You might have a bruise right now. <laughs> Some emotions for you guys from down to your final strike to Alvarez in the home run. So you obviously getting your head and going ahead. Like, what, what does that sequence feel like? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, the Alvi home run is a big sigh of relief. So um, that was just an amazing at bat and uh, extremely impressive from a rookie. And just, I mean, he, he never ceases to amaze me. And how he's developing this year, that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. And what about your country? Music? Oh, in my country? <laughs> and uh, I went up there and just went at the first pitch, and <laughs> it worked out. But um, no, I mean, I, I'm very happy with the, the pitch selection and the swing I put on that ball was um, one of my better swings I've had of late. So I'm, uh, yeah, happy to contribute. But again, I, you know, walking up to the plate there, it's like a huge weight off your shoulders when somebody ties the game you know when you have a tie game and you're like trying to win it it kind of feels like you're playing with house money a little bit more than if you're like we need to get a base runner or drive a run in to, to not lose this game right now so um that was uh big on his part and i give him a lot of credit and then, and then another good at bat from Beatty, and and um and then i was able to do what i did so along those lines then is it, is it easier to Try to win than to try to not lose. Sure, I, I guess. I mean, I guess it just depends on your mindset. But I mean, for me personally, going up there with the runner on and, and two outs, you're kind of like, all right, let's win this thing. You know, there's there's less um, pressure, I think, to, and, and to be in a situation that all these where he's battling and, and fouling pitches off and taking tough pitches, tough sliders in the dirt and stuff like that. Um, so just, I don't know, I'm watching that at that from the dugout was just, I was, man, he's really locked in. That's a, that's a tough event for anybody, much less uh, What did you think of his celebration around the bases? I mean, you can always count on the theatrics from, from him, so uh, it's just fun. It's just fun to watch him and the joy he plays the game with. This could have been a tough one up and loss instead of your fourth consecutive win. I mean, how much does it feel like a big win for you guys to help you along to where you ultimately want to get to? Yeah, I mean, before this little streak we're on, it felt like it was going the other way, I think, a lot of the time. And, um, you know, we just couldn't get that big hit when we needed it. And, and it feels like we've been doing that. So I think it's, you know, it's nice to see that it's starting to go our way. And, um, you know, I think it, it's a result of a, of a lot of hard work and learning from our mistakes. And, and um, 
you know, we're not caving in, in tough stretches and we're, we're kind of the field and we battle every day and, and that's um, awesome to see. How did you personally dealt with, you know, having to wait for your opportunities kind of here to play as opposed to like, you know, early in the season last year when you knew you were going to be here most of the time? Mm -hmm. Just work. Just keep working. Work hard every day and try and figure things out and for, for when those moments come up, like tonight. You know, you want to be ready for them and, and um, for, for when your number's called. And, and that's that's been the name of the game for me for my entire career and, and I'm used to it and, and I've been able to handle it. And I think, you know, we, we do have a, we have a handful of guys that aren't playing very much and I think we've been doing a great job. Those guys do a great job when they get in there of, of doing something to affect the game. And, um, you know, it's good to see everyone with the positive attitude when they are not a full-time player to come every day and bring the same, uh, you know, expectation to win, expectation to contribute, and, uh, and positive attitude.